In this video, we're gonna be talking about the number one fastest way to retire off of crypto passive income. I'm also gonna show you the number one fastest way to grow your capital so that way you can create even more additional passive income. So make sure that you stay tuned throughout this video because I'm gonna explain everything, the entire strategy. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial so we can go ahead and set this up together. And then also again, at the end, I'll show you the fastest way to grow your capital. So before we go ahead and before we get started into this video, there's a few things that I need you to understand. Number one is everything that I'm gonna talk about in this video is easy to follow along and I'm gonna to try to slow it down to you and explain it in a really simple way because we are doing some complex things in in order to earn this sort of passive income that we're going to be talking about. And really I'm talking about earning like 40% plus APY on your stable coins, which is awesome. We're going to attempt to show you how you can set this up in 15 minutes or less. So it's not going to take a lot of time. And actually this strategy that I'm going to show you is less risky than a lot of other crypto speculation plays, a lot of other yield farming or DeFi strategies that are out there. Also, this strategy is extremely profitable. This is the probably the most profitable yield farming strategy that I've seen for the risk amount. And the best part about this strategy is that you can do this in any market phase. So when the bull market phase is over and there's a bear market, this is going to allow you to earn crypto passive income even when the price of the assets may not be going up, okay? It doesn't require you to do any research besides watching this video. But the one thing, I know this all sounds great, but the one thing is, is that this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to show you the strategy, the tutorial, and we're also going to uh, show you how to grow your capital. So this is the game plan. First, I'm going to show you the overall strategy for uh, earning crypto passive income. Second is we're going to do the tutorial. And then the last thing is I'm going to show you a little way to grow your capital because you do need capital to feed this passive income machine. And the more capital that we can feed it, the more crypto passive income you're going to be able to earn. So let's go ahead and uh, let's begin here and let's actually talk about what is the strategy here, okay? The strategy is really how do we create financial freedom or financial security? And the way that I like to define this is like this. You need to have a greater amount of passive income than you do in monthly living expenses. So let's take a second here to calculate roughly what are your monthly living expenses. I know in America, the average living expenses are about $3,000 per month. Depending on where you're being uh, at in the world, yours may be a lot higher than that, like mine, or it may be a lot lower. If you're in Bali, for example, I happen to be in Bali, your uh, expenses are likely a lot lower than that, okay? That means that we need at least $3,000 per month in crypto passive income. If we could do this, then we're financially free. We no longer have to necessarily work a job or do something for money. We can do what we want because we have enough to pay the bills, right? That's the first goal of financial freedom or what we call financial security. So basically, if we were to multiply this by 12, we would need to have, essentially, we have $36,000 per year in yearly expenses. We would also need $36,000 per year in passive income, which I'm gonna show you how you can create this faster probably than you ever thought possible throughout the remainder of this video. Now, just to put this into perspective, I was looking at uh, rental real estate, okay, uh, earlier this year where basically I would buy a property. The properties I was looking at buying were about $150,000. It would require me to put down $20,000 as a down payment. And it looks like they'd cash flow around $300 per month, which is basically like a 12% return on my $20,000, which you could take this and you could get this in the S&P 500, right? Which is an index fund, which is probably one of the most common strategies that you could do, okay? Now, the problem with this is, is that this is going to take a lot of time to set up. It's gonna take a lot of headache, you know, finding the property, finding the property manager, dealing with the tenants, finding the tenants, all that sort of stuff plus all the paperwork and all that jazz. I'm gonna show you how we can basically get this return, but at least get it like 3X larger. And we're gonna do this all in 15 minutes. So your path to financial security is gonna be a lot, lot faster if you uh, take this sort of route. Now, to lay it down for you, just one more thing, before we get into the actual tutorial of how we're gonna do this, there's something that you need to understand. We're gonna be 
operating in something called decentralized finance, right? And we're also going to be working in this field of what's called yield farming. So you're going to hear me refer to this a couple times throughout this video. And yield is basically just like the return on investment, or this is like the interest that you would earn. And then farming is we're going to go around and we're going to look for the best opportunities, which the cool part about this video is I've already found what I believe is the best opportunity right now for earning um, passive income on your stable coins. Okay. So yield farming is just searching and hunting for the best yield. Okay. Now the beautiful thing about decentralized finance is it allows us to become like the bank. So we're going to be able to borrow and lend money and do really creative things with our money, which you're going to see in this video to earn really great APY or really great annual interest. So with that being said, last thing that I'm going to explain to you before we get into the actual tutorial is that you need to understand something called layer ones. Okay. Layer ones or smart contract platforms. Okay. And you may be familiar with, um, with these and maybe you're not the one that you're probably most familiar with is something called Ethereum. Okay. It's a smart contract or layer one platform. And it basically allows these decentralized apps to be built on top of it. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is using these dApps or these decentralized apps to earn our yield. Other ones you may have heard of is like Avalanche. There's also Solana. There's also Cardano, ADA. There's also um, a bunch of these, but the one that we're going to be using is actually called Luna. And Luna is essentially a layer one protocol that is entire focus is on basically holding up this stable coin, which is known as UST. If you're not familiar with stable coins, stable coins are basically supposed to be one to one to the US dollar. So it's a basically a way to get your dollars into the crypto ecosystem and to be able to not have the volatility that you do in the cryptocurrency uh, space. So Here's the second part. This is actually the tutorial, and then I'll show you how to actually grow the capital. So how are we actually going to earn this yield? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this. So first things that we're going to do is we're actually going to buy UST. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up what's called a Terra Station wallet. And we're actually going to send the UST here. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do all of this. And uh, after we do that, we're going to use two different apps. We're going to use one or dApps called Anchor Earn or Anchor Protocol. And the other one that we're going to use is called Mirror Finance. Okay. And this is how we're going to accentuate those rewards and make them even higher. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get in and show you how to actually do this on screen. So follow along step by step and feel free to uh, pause the video where need be. Okay. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to buy UST. So you can buy that likely on whatever crypto brokerage that you're using. If you're not using one yet, then you can go to kucoin.com and you can sign up for account. You can sign up with your email or your phone number. And then if you need to onboard your US dollars or your fiat money, you can do that if you just click buy crypto. And then if you click on third party, this will actually allow you to buy crypto with your bank account. Okay. You can collect Visa or MasterCard, Apple Pay, et cetera. And what we're going to want to actually do is we're going to want to buy USDT. Okay. And let's just say for this example, I'm going to be using the example of using $1,000. Okay. To earn UST. And then you just click confirm and follow the steps on here. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to trade this USDT for UST. Okay. Remember, that's what we need to do. So you'd come in here onto spot trading and then you click on USDT. Okay. And we're looking for that USDT UST pair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially sell $1,000 in this case, you do however much you want to do, but $1,000 worth of USDT. And that's going to allow me to get basically $1,000 worth of UST. Okay. Next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to come out here to assets and then I'm going to click on the withdrawal tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw some of my UST. Okay. So I have some UST here and I'm basically going to withdraw it. But before I withdraw it, the second step is that I need to create this Terra Station wallet address. Now, what is this? It's simply a, an app. Uh, it's like a wallet, but a Chrome extension wallet for your everything that happens on the Luna layer one protocol, which we talked about. So if you've ever used MetaMask before, it's very similar to MetaMask. It's a Chrome extension where you can uh, basically hold your 
cryptocurrencies. So you'll just come here to TerraStation and you'll add this Chrome extension to your browser. Okay. You can see that I have the Chrome extension right here and you'll just follow the steps on screen to create your wallet. Now, after you've created your wallet, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wallet address, which you can see right here, and I'm actually gonna come back to KuCoin and I'm gonna withdraw my $1,000 in this case and make sure I click the Terra Network, and I'm gonna withdraw $1,000 worth of UST and I'm gonna withdraw it back to my Terra Station wallet address that we just created. So there we go. I'm going to click confirm withdraw and I'm going to do my passcode. Okay. So you want to just give it a few seconds, obviously to, or actually a few minutes to withdraw it to your ter Terra station wallet address. <clears throat> you can see I have about my thousand dollars here worth of UST sitting in my Terra station wallet address. Okay. And the next step is we're going to go into anchor protocol and mirror after. So first we're going to start with anchor. Now, what I want to explain to you is when we're doing this, we're going to be doing a few things. Okay. So we're going to use a thousand dollars as an example. Okay. So let's just do it like this. So we're going to use a thousand dollars as an example. We're going to take two fourths of it or one half of it, right? So $500 worth, and we're going to deposit this into anchor earn. This is going to go into anchor. Okay. Let me explain how this works. You go to anchorprotocol.com. You click on web app. Once you click on the web app, you're going to get taken to a page like this. Uh, basically anchor protocol is like a glorified savings account. In a sense, it allows you to earn and borrow money. Uh, so you can click on this earn page here and you can see that it has a APY of right around 20%. Okay. And so all we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to deposit right half of the total amount that you want to use. In this case, we're doing a thousand dollar example. So $500, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deposit here into anchor earn. It's going to ask me for my password that I used when I set up my Terra station wallet address. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click post and it'll give it a second and it'll automatically deposit here inside of your anchor protocol. Okay. So you can see now I have deposited that $500 worth of UST into anchor earn. This $500 that we just deposited is now earning 20%. Okay. So that's great. You're already beating the stock market on average. You're beating most rental real estate. And if that's all you did, congratulations, you did really great, but we're going to take these let um, these gains to the next level. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be using something called mirrorprotocol.app. It looks something like this. Uh, basically what we're going to be able to do is you can see that mirror protocol is basically a synthetic stock market. So it'll allow anybody around the world to trade the U S stock market, right? You could trade Amazon arc, you could trade Airbnb, all of these, right? Um, but what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to do something called farming. Okay. So we're going to click on this farming tab here and let me just explain here the strategy. We're going to use something called a Delta neutral strategy. And all this basically means is that we're both going to short the asset and we're going to long the asset. So that way we don't care if the price of the asset goes up or goes down. It doesn't really matter because we're protected either way. And all we're going to do is we're going to earn interest on this. Okay. So let me explain how to do this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come in here to farm and we're going to find an asset that we like. And I'm just going to use uh, ARC for this example. This is an ETF. Uh, this is like a, a tech based ETF and I'm going to click on short farm and let me back it up. You can see here that I can earn 33% for short farming and basically 26% for long farming. <clears throat> and these rates do fluctuate a little bit, but uh, this one has been pretty solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I am going to use AUST as a collateral asset. Okay. Now what just happened here? We deposited UST onto anchor right here. And then we're actually going to get roughly an equal amount of something called AUST. So we're going to get basically like $500 worth of AUST. And that's what makes this strategy so brilliant. Okay. And I'm not going to explain the details of how this all works and whatnot. I'm just going to show you how to do it so you can get the result. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up $500 worth of collateral. I'm going to leave this at $200. And this is basically the amount that we're going to short. We're going to short 2.64 of this ARC ETF synthetic, right? Now, the other cool thing about this is, is that in two weeks, I'm going to get an additional $299. Uh, 
back, right? So this is, this is really cool. But in a two week time period, it'll, this money will unlock and I'll be able to get an additional $299, right? Which I'm going to use that 299 of UST and I'm just going to go stuff it back into Anchor Earn. Okay. In two weeks, I'll just go click deposit. I'll deposit that $299. And now that's going to be earning 20% as well. Okay. So again, let's just continue here. Okay. So what have we done? We've deposited this $500 into Anchor Earn. We've gotten an equal amount of AUST and we've used this $500 worth of AUST and we've basically created a short farm. Okay. So that's, that's that. Okay. Now coming back to this, I'm just going to go ahead and click farm. It's going to pop up my Terra station wall address and I'm just going to confirm it. Okay. So after the transactions process, just give it a few seconds. I'm then going to come in and I'm going to long farm. Okay. So I'm going to long farm the same exact asset, this arc ETF. And basically I am going to long farm the same amount that I just borrowed. So I'm going to come back here to my page and I'm going to see, I'm going to copy and paste this. I see that I shorted this much. So I'm going to come in here to farm and I'm actually going to use this long farm. Okay. So after I've set up the short farm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to this arc and I'm going to buy arc. So that way we're going to become Delta neutral. So I'm basically going to take Actually, I'm going to take one quarter of my total investment. So in this case, the thousand dollar investment, it's 25%. So let me back this up for you, right? So we did two fourths, $500 into anchor earn. And now we're going to take this. Let me delete some of this stuff. Now we're going to take one fourth of this and I'm going to go and actually buy this arc uh, ETF. Okay. I know I'm getting a little bit messy here, but just bear with me here. Okay. So one fourth or $250. Let me just make a note. One fourth or $250. Okay. So all I'm going to do is come in here to trade. I'm going to click on the M arc asset and I'm going to put up $250 worth of collateral and I'm going to buy this amount of M arc. Essentially, I'm going to post the transaction and give it just a second. Okay, so now we are technically delta neutral because we're shorting and we're holding this MR asset as long. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to farm. We're going to long farm it. So I'm going to come in here to farm and I am going to long farm and I'm going to put up this same amount that I just bought. I'm going to provide this and I'm going to provide an equal amount of UST. Okay, so this is where the other one fourth comes in to make up the total one fourth, right? So this is going to go right here and this is going to be my other one fourth or $250 in this case that I'm going to provide as UST to do this long farm. Okay. So that's how that works. Okay. So essentially, yeah, I did that $250 and I'm just going to click farm again. I'm just going to post this. Okay, great. So now we're actually done. So let me show you just a quick breakdown and then I'm going to show you how do you grow your capital? Cause the more money you can feed this thing, obviously the more passive income that you're going to create. So let's just break it down. Okay. So we had a thousand dollars, right? We put $500 into anchor earn and that is earning 20%. Okay. We took this, uh, $500 of a UST and we did the short farm right? And how much is the short farm earning? It's earning 33, 34% roughly. So let's just call it 34%, right? So that's that we then took and, uh, we basically set up this long farm with $500 worth with the long farm. The long farm is earning roughly 26%. Okay. So let's just go ahead and let's add this up here on this total thousand dollars right? We're basically earning 20%, which is actually 10% on the total, right? 34%, which is actually 17% on the total. And we're earning 26%, which is actually 13% on the total, right? So if we add this all up on the thousand dollars, we're actually making a 40% APY on this thousand dollars, which is just insane. Okay. And let's just break this down for you just for a second. Let's just break this down for you just for a second. So if you have a hundred thousand dollars, right, that you're using in this strategy and you're earning 40% APY, okay, then you're earning $40,000 per year in passive income, 
which again, if your monthly expenses are $3,000 per month, then you have more income than you do your monthly expenses. And this is true financial freedom. Okay. Now I forgot to mention one thing. Remember there's that extra $250 bonus that's going to be unlocked for you in a two week time period that we can then go ahead and put into anchor earn again and earn 20%. So this is one fourth of the total thousand dollars. So one fourth of this is 5%. So basically another 5% where we're actually in reality in two weeks, we're going to be able to earn 45% APY. This is just crazy. This is just crazy because we're Delta neutral, meaning that we're not taking on uh, a whole lot of risk on the asset side of things. And we're doing this all with our stable coins, which is just absolutely insane. So now the big problem may be like, okay, well, Adam, how do I get this hundred thousand dollars? Right? Um, so that's what we're going to talk about right now is how to actually grow your capital. Okay. If you have a smaller amount of capital, then you're going to want to uh, grow it as quickly as possible. So then you can put it into anchor earn. Now, here's the thing. If you have a smaller amount of capital, if you're investing into things like Bitcoin and Ethereum, these are great investments in my opinion. However, it's going to take a lot of money coming into Bitcoin or Ethereum in order for this thing to like 2X or in order to this thing to 10X. And I do believe that this is gonna happen over time, but it's gonna take you many, many years. So the better way to do this or the faster way to do this is to actually play coins that are smaller market cap coins, okay? And again, this can be a little bit confusing because there's like 13,000 different altcoins now that are available, but you wanna play something with a smaller market cap because you know, if you play something that only has, let's say a hundred million dollar market cap okay, in order to double this investment, okay, only an extra hundred million dollar needs to come into this. If a hundred million dollars comes into Bitcoin, it's not going to really move the price that much. Okay. So I know you may be thinking, well, how do I actually know which uh, altcoins to pick? Well, we did something and we put together this little report called the parabolic portfolio, and you can see it at parabolicportfolio.com. 